Frank and researcher Dr. Lily. Uh, James just went to bed. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say today's Monday. Yes. Today was not a fun Monday. No. For sure. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a vlog across a couple of days. Hopefully not too many. Like, yeah. What I mean by that is like, we're going to do this until we get like definitive answers. Mm -hmm. The ones that we feel are definitive. Yeah. And so hopefully we're not <laughs> waiting days and days and days. Yes. So, well, late last night, we've been waiting for results for our last beta, our fourth beta. We took been... that, well, we did that, you did that blood draw before we went to the Air Hearts on yes, Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Um, we didn't receive results yesterday, um, but there was some maintenance on the site, so we were like, okay, well, tomorrow. Well, Peter had, like, looked at one of our results, and it showed a chart like all of your historical all results, of your historical for that resorts, kind of and test. it showed a fourth test, but it showed a decline. Yeah. And it showed sixty, but I did not get an email. I did not have anything show up on the portal. I didn't even have it in a test result, but it had the date, and so we were pretty shaken last night to be like, "This looks like yeah. what we were like." what we didn't want to happen. Right, what we've been saying for days now, as you, if you've been following along with us, and like, we don't do typical pregnancy because of our infertility struggles, so yeah. like we get a lot more monitoring, so most people who get pregnant don't know their beta scores, mm -hmm. or how they progress, um, and so we've been worried that they weren't doubling every two days, yeah. but like we've been saying, they don't really need to double, they just need to be going in the right direction, and that's up. Yes. And this was after 72 hours, so three whole days, it went down which right. so our last test had been Wednesday we were we didn't have the time to go Friday so I went Saturday so it was a longer time in between so it went from 66 dropped on to 60 when in reality after 72 hours we definitely should have seen at least a doubling and a little more probably yeah so closer to like 140 150 but it went down to 60 right so again if you haven't watched our videos before or if you're new um, we've gone through IVF we have a baby that was born from our embryos we have embryos that are frozen we got pregnant without medical intervention for the very first time last month and so the pregnancy is not progressing as it should that's what we're saying because we don't want to say what it will statistically most likely be what's happening right now has there been cases in the existence of Humanity. humanity recording time that beta has declined after that kind of time and gone back up and it is common like I'm sorry it's not it's not common for that to happen however in the cases that it does happen it does happen with lower betas yeah. like it like if they're lower betas um, that it needs to that it that it drops before it picks up but it's just the odds are not. It's it's in not our favor. statistically common enough for it to be like easy to find on the internet. Right. So um, of course people will like you'll find off the one off article or whatever or miracle story and we do believe in miracles. But everything is indicative of a pregnancy that's not progressing as it should, and our doctor said you know, the the ultimate definitive thing will be an ultrasound. And we still have mm -hmm. that ultrasound scheduled for next Monday. Yeah. So Sarah did a beta test today. Hopefully we'll get those test results tomorrow. I don't think our doctor's going to want to do anything else between the, these results and next Monday. Mm -hmm. um, but we just kind of have to play it ear, play it by ear, and, and yeah. listen to what our doctor says. Right, and we don't want to um, really say or explain what it is until we know. Right. And the don't. nurse said today we can't rule anything out. And yeah, because there's like three or four different things that could be causing this. Yeah. But we, don't, we really don't know until either certain tests are done or an ultrasound. Right. So I'm going to put in a clip here of James playing today. Because um, <laughs> he was really cute with you. The one I took? Yeah, while I was out. <laughs> When you put your hands up and his hands went up. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so we'll check back in tomorrow mm -hmm. after we hear from the nurse and go from there. You know, and we appreciate all the positivity you guys have sent us so far. No matter what, we'll still need it. Yep.
found the, the chunky acai, not the liquidy part. Oh. Oh, it's sour. We're out to lunch today. We heard back from our doctor and our nurse and all that, so we'll give an update soon, but. Well, we want to show you the delicious food. Yes, I mean, you guys know us. Food definitely helps our hearts. Look at this cute little French place. This is French onion soup and Brussels sprout bruschetta. Um, it's a sandwich. This is half and half, like half size portions. So there was a mix up on my order, but they just fixed it. And look at this monster of a sandwich that just came back. Grilled veggies in a salad? Yeah. I you were getting a salad. Yeah. I got, oh, should we turn off the air? That clip of James was in the store. We got road. <laughs> That's a dirty diaper. <laughs> we got road trip snacks and some fall treats to get the fall feelings rolling. I said we're pre-gaming fall because we're about to go into fall, which is funny because we're going to a place that's hot. It's actually been hotter here. Great. I love cool. <laughs> we also believe that when we come back to Chicago, we told the vlog we're going for four weeks now. I don't think we did. Let's yeah. let's yeah. do what we're supposed to do. Yesterday, well, we never ended up telling you what happened because we are low. We're very low. Very low. So our blood results came back yesterday, and the number dropped to thirty by half. Um, Which. So if you remember the other day, like, we wanted it to be 20, like, above a 24 is like, oh, you are pregnant. Like, mm -hmm. five, between five and 24 is like, you're pregnant, but, like, a lot of people say, like, you need to get above that 24 to feel, like, confidence in that number and everything. Mm -hmm. So, within 48 hours, we went from a 60 down to a 30, which never going down is a good thing, especially no. at that rate. Um, so, I stopped progesterone, talked to my nurse, and this has been deemed a biochemical pregnancy the chemical pregnancies mm -hmm. for the lay term yes and so what that means was my egg was fertilized it just did not implant however my body still prepared Locked. for it delaying my cycle giving us positive pregnancy tests it's pretty much like us. Yeah, it's pretty much when like your body the worst thinks way. that that fertilized egg because there was a fertilized egg mm -hmm. there was a life um, yes. we created. But it just, it's kind of like our first embryo transfer that like they put the embryo in and it didn't stick. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like here. So this didn't get to an embryo, but it fertilized and just didn't stick, but the body thought it did. So it starts turning Sarah's body into getting ready to grow a baby. Yep. And, and then it realizes the nothing is there. And, and so then it stops. So, so we're back to where we were um, a week ago. It was an incredible week. We have never experienced that before. No. It was incredibly high. Obviously, there was uncertainty. There was nerves. There was worry. Um, but we got pretty invested, as one does when... And it doesn't, especially, like, anybody gets invested, but especially yeah. a couple like ourselves who have gone through it for five years, never been, never conceived without medical intervention, where we did this time. We were about um, to start... We had eight eight or nine pregnancy tests sitting on our right. bathroom windowsill for the past, you know, 10 days or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll just never forget, like, the look in your eyes when, like, the first couple of tests, like, I was, like, there's something there, and Peter, like, needed, like, a solid, legit test, and when you saw it, like, I'll, I'll never forget the time that we had with that baby, you know. The timing with us about to start treatment was just, like, we won't have to go yes, through all of that. Shortly after your mom passing. It felt like she just handed us this baby. And yeah. like, still an incredible miracle. And it doesn't take long for anybody to think of the entire life that was going to be coming your way. So like, some people think that a chemical pregnancy is a lesser pregnancy or a miss. It's called, a lot of people call it like a missed miscarriage and stuff like that. But it, 
you know, we had already imagined James as an older sibling, and he mm-hmm. still is going to be. Yeah. But we imagined them together. We imagined them the com- like the chaos of having them so close in age. We imagined what kind of person right. this was going to be. Gonna, they were going to be born in April. It was be. like their like, birthday would be around Easter and yes. James around Halloween, and it would just be like all those things immediately came into our minds. And, mm-hmm. and you kept lose an entire lifetime. You lose with um, a whole life. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's. It sucks. <laughs> it, it, it truly. Truly does. And there's so, like, we are positive people. We've never had this happen before. We feel very lucky to know it can. We feel like my body's ready to do it again. Yeah. Um, and so, basically, I will, I said I'm off my medicine. We're still going to go, I'm going to get my blood drawn in Florida on Monday make sure that it's negative so that's like the next big step is that all hcg has to be out of my system so what's crazy is that monday we were supposed to originally do an ultrasound to make sure everything looked good for like a pre-op appointment before the following week sarah's going to have a hysteroscopy which is just an HSG. HSG. an hsc to make sure there's no scarring make sure everything's clear and everything to do a transfer next month but then this come pregnancy happened and what's weird is there's still the potential that we could still do that same path if Sarah's HSG level goes to zero on right. Monday. So if it does, I'll still go in for that ultrasound. And um, barring everything going well. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, what's nice is we went from being in Florida for two weeks to four weeks. So that gives us a little bit more time if there's some delays. Um, so basically, we'll be down there to get the sufficient pre-transfer procedures procedures that we need done. so transfer could happen maybe while we're down there i mean but we got to take a look and everything and um well and like a hysteroscopy needs to be scheduled and happen it has to be clear if there's like if something comes up in the hysteroscopy that we don't like to see it yeah. will obviously delay an, an embryo transfer right so again we're just like at these first steps there's just so um, many variables and at the yeah. root of it we're not we Not like doing good. No, and we felt as though we felt as though, as though we like took the easy route this way. We're like, oh my gosh, all these different things we don't have to do. So like, the weight of knowing we have to do them again. Um, I think at first we were kind of like we need to see how we are emotionally if we're going to do a transfer as so soon, soon as yeah. possible. Yeah, well, that's um, a good thing about we're in control. So like, we can do the hysteroscopy and make sure you're all good. Yeah, and wait. 15 months to do a transfer yeah well, yeah. yeah um technically it'd be 12 months that's why she was saying well because you have but to i was just this. being <laughs> exaggerative i love how you like knew what i was i thinking. know <laughs> um but yeah we'll like take it one day at a time and i mean we've had highs and lows lots we're of lows be, we're ready to be down in the, but, the fallness of florida yeah and just like the peacefulness of being there so we'll see what we vlog. This is a very talky video, but we're just kind of like, we're just kind of taking it day by day. We'll probably get back in the swing of it. I hope so. When we... It always feels good too. When we head south. Yeah. I know everybody is always so kind and you say you truly take as much time as you want, um, but as much as you guys enjoy the vlog we enjoy making them and it's a it's a sense of you know well peace. we always talk about how the vlog is what reminds us like in the movie about time like to live our extraordinarily ordinary life where it's like the vlog is like a diary it forces us to at least acknowledge what we're doing in that day it doesn't mean we need to go do crazy things right like get in a car and drive to florida but it just means like why don't you take james for a walk and it's worth remembering and, and make sure that we just remember these moments in the day that right. are worth cherishing and i do i think what's important about us is that we've shared our experiences one so that like peter said but two that life is you know throws curveballs and wrenches your way and that like this is a very personal thing that we just went through a week and I don't regret sharing anything. I don't, like, in my opinion, when you're going through something like this, like, why not have a community of people right. surrounding you and with And it's love? not for everybody to share. But, no. But in one of the, like, the aspects of what everything Sarah said is right, but another additional step is, like, 
to talk about how common this does happen because the emotions we felt were very real the emotions that anybody who's watching us who has gone through a chemical pregnancy whether they were going battling fertility issues or not it only takes you seeing that one positive pregnancy test to be like what's my life now right. what's this baby now and then to find out days or weeks later that it's a chemical pregnancy like that's very real very common and that's not for everybody to share but there were some conversations there and i had that oh like the past couple of days where it was like this is why we do talk about it because these are more common than people realize and right. if we talk about it someone else who goes through this might watch us and realize that they aren't insufficient. They aren't, nothing's wrong with them. That this isn't something scarily going wrong. Right. This and is as much as unfortunately it's common. terrible, it's, we understand how you had felt. And sometimes there's comfort in knowing that others have felt those same yeah. That you're not alone. Yes. And so as always, our message box is always open. Um, and we'll keep moving forward. So right? I think, yeah, yeah. That's all we can do mm -hmm. the way we the way we roll mm -hmm. um so this will go up tomorrow right you think yeah because we kind of said like we've been piecing together the past couple of days of yeah. little updates yeah we'll put this live tomorrow and then hopefully by the weekend we'll have we've also been vlog. very busy like yeah outside of the immersion emotional turmoil of all this like it's busy getting our house and ourselves ready to go to florida for four weeks right so like that's also an aspect of like, do you want a vlog of just watching us fold laundry? I don't know. And clean bathrooms. We do a good job at. We do, yeah. Making the ordinary extraordinary. Very true. <clears throat> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>